Hi guys, in this example we want to see how you can deal with decimals especially if you are doing mail margin on the reports. We have a couple of times when you round off the figures in Excel and when you do the reporting in a mail match, you realize that the decimals you can't do away with. I'm going to show you how you can deal with decimal numbers especially on reports which have been mail matched. On the screen you can see here I have on my Excel sheet some figures for the cells. I will go ahead and calculate the total sum. Select the function. Then highlight the figures and press enter. Then I will drag down the figures. For the average, I just put average function average function then select my figures from January to March and press enter when I drag down can you notice we have some decimals and this is exactly what I want to show you how to deal with them most people think that you can round off the figures by just selecting them here and using the decrease decimal function to round them off. This is not actually rounding off. You can just show them or you can hide them using this. So in case somebody has used this uh, button for the decrease decimal and you do mail merging, the decimal will still appear in the mail merge report. Let me go ahead and save this and show you how the decimal will finally appear on the report. So in this case, I have a report here. This one I want to mail merge to each sales person from that Excel sheet. And both the reports and the Excel sheet are saved in one folder for convenience. Let me show you the folder. My folder is here. If I open it, you see my report and the sales sheet is in one fol folder called sales to make it easy to do the mail match. So I will go ahead and close this Excel sheet to, so that I'm able to do mail matching. Then I will proceed in here to mailings start mail match step by step then I will go and do next and uh, do next again and browse for my recipients go to my desktop open my sales folder select my sales file open it the information is in sheet 1 I will go ahead and click OK you can see the, the information in my Excel sheet can now be displayed here. I will go ahead and click OK. Now I will come here to insert merge field to help me link my document to the Excel. Mailings. Then come to my insert merge field. Click this small arrow. And I will insert the sales code here the same there remove the bolding go to mailings and insert sales person for the month i have january uh, february and march so i will insert the I will insert in the mailings, I will insert for January, insert for February, insert for March. In the summary, I will insert the total. And for average, insert the average. Now I will go ahead and click this preview button. You can see now the information per 
sales person is shown on the report. I will move with the arrow to the next person next. You can see the decimal is showing. And we use the decrease decimal to hide the decimal, but it is still showing on the report. Clicking next person, you can see we have problems with decimals. Now to solve this problem, we will not solve it in MS Word. We will go and use the round function in Excel. So I will save this document and close the mail match. I will come here and provide the solution. And the solution will be to use the round function. I will click the average and insert my round function here. Then I will put a comma. Then I will specify the number of decimal places. In this case, I don't want the decimal places. I will just put a zero and close the function like that. So this is how we round figures. We put the average inside the round. There is a comma separating. Then you put a zero if you don't want decimal places. Then I will drag down like that. So this is permanently rounded. If I select this, for example, and increase the decimal places, you can see they are all zeros. Okay, we don't have any decimals. Go back, save. Now going back to my mail magic document. If I preview in the mailings, preview, next, next, you see you cannot see the decimal places. So to solve the issues of decimal places in mail manager reports, you use the round function in the data source, which is maybe Excel. You round off the figures there using the round function, then the decimals will not appear in the mail manager reports. That is how simple it is. Go ahead and try it. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe so that if there are any notifications of new videos, you will be able to receive them. If you are already a permanent member, thank you very much for your constant support. See you next time. Bye-bye.